Gary Cruz with color commentator and the creator of the next great combat sport, X-Arm, Mr. Art Davey. Thanks, it's great to be with you, Gary. And you out there, we've got 10 athletes competing for $10,000 and the title, X-Arm Heavyweight Champion. So without further ado, let's meet the fighters. My name's Frederick Steen, the big cat, and I'm from Valinda, California. My fighting background is seven years of kickboxing, one year of judo. I'm also a former Division I football player. My name is Rick the Savage Cheek, and I'm from Santa Rosa, California. My background in fighting with my Muay Thai is I picked up five heavyweight world titles. Going against Rick Cheek, he's a K1 kickboxer. I'm bigger, I'm stronger, I'm faster, and I'm just gonna start throwing hard explosive strikes. Going up against Frederick, uh, really no problem. A lot of muscles, but it's not strong. He doesn't hit hard, and he doesn't take a good shot. Yeah, Rick Cheek likes to talk a lot. He's a walkover, he's a, he's a gimme. I think he just likes to hear his voice. And I predict that the fight's gonna be ended in the first 10, 20 seconds. <laughs> as soon as I got him wobbled with the kick, Big Cat is a beast, top to bottom, hands down. I mean, I'm just gonna come out there, I'm gonna compete. I'm a bad mother I hit hard, I'm skilled, and I can take a great shot. Oh yeah, oh no, no, not yet. We'll save it for game time, almost. I'm here at X-Arm, and I'm here to whoop some mass. Art, it's time to get busy, so let's send it down to our X-Arm announcer, Tyson Johnson. First, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands six feet tall, he weighed in at 250 pounds. He hails from Brentwood, California. Please welcome Frederick Steen. And his opponent fighting on the green corner. He stands six feet, four inches tall. He weighed in at 265 pounds. He hails from Santa Rosa, California. Please welcome Rick Cheek. We have two fighters, two different styles. How do you see this match? Well, you know, Rick Cheek is a great kickboxer. He's got that great Muay Thai training. Uh, he's also got some MMA experience. Steen, by comparison, is more of a grappler. He had the biggest biceps. He's, he's got a 20-inch bicep, very strong, much of a grappler. And I think what you're going to see here is a man whose physical strength, he's going to try to uh, uh, get in close, stay tight, and make sure that Cheek doesn't get a chance to use those weapons against him. Well, Steen, of course, was a college football player, so you may see some of that, that really determined physical play inside between these two. That's what I'm looking for. I think you might see some interesting kicks in this fight. And uh, at this point, it's anyone's game. I'll be interested to see also Time how they use the pins because up. they are points. That's how you can win if you actually use pins along with the strikes and, and everything else that comes with X-Arm. But I'm going to be interested. I'm going to keep a close, close eye on that. Gary, every single pin counts as if it were a knockdown in boxing. So you wind up getting a point subtraction if you get your own pin. Cal Worship, notice the sunglasses. They're actually, the glasses that he's wearing, that is Cal Cam. And we'll get some interesting angles there. Of course, the judges for the pins are right there near the platform. So I think we're ready to roll with this fight. Both men trying to get locked in. They will cinch their arms up, as you know, in X-Arm. They don't want these guys to get too far apart. I got to tell you, Steen doesn't look as confident as Cheek at this point, Rick. Uh, Cheek looks like he's wired. He's ready to go. He's, he's, he can feel the energy, he's like ready to explode out of the gate. Now look at the expression. Look at the, the sounds coming out. These two men are just about ready to go. Here we go. Any last words for your opponent? Savage time! Oh, he comes up with a quick look. Yeah, he that goes skinny. He said, no, 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 come back at you. He's he trying to keep him close. He's trying, look at, there's some, oh, nice stand in the ear. I don't know how effective that will be, but look at the little shots inside. The little hooks inside, and you gotta wonder what Steen's trying to think. I'm a football player, I'm a grappler, I'm trying to grab him. Now they're just holding on. No pins yet, I don't see at this point. Cal Wilson kind of looking at both of them closely. Boy, this Steen's is been shot. Steen's been shot here. I think he has, and, and look at this shot right there to the side play. head. He tries, he's going with an elbow. I mean, oh, all right, left hit. This is amazing, they just missed with the elbow to the side of the cheek. But she, interesting. Wow. Well, you saw there that he's got the ability to get his kick up above that table. Their hands came apart, of course, and that's why we have a stoppage in play. I didn't mean to interrupt you, Art, but now we're going to tie these guys back up and let's see what happens. And look at him breathe. Both these gentlemen breathing a little heavily. This is exerting. This is unbelievable. Let's go, baby. Here we go. Uh, they're ready to roll again. They're Cal Worsham ready to let him go, and uh, all of a sudden, there we go. Shots, look at the left. Go, 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 go,
stop this fight. You know, I got to tell you, though, I think Warshaw might have stopped it just uh, maybe a hair too early, just a second too early. I thought the screen had a little more in the tank. I don't know. You're you, you not complaining at all, but you might be right. Here's the scary part. When you are cinched up to that table, there's no place to go. There's no way to run. And there's no place to run. That's what's unique about this sport. Well, gentlemen, it looks like it, it's good news. Steve is fine. He's shaking hands with his handler over there. And I'll tell you, very impressive. And let's take a look at an instant replay. I want to see this again because, you know what? It looked like it was a pretty good shot, but it didn't look like a devastating shot, as you pointed out earlier. Exactly. You know, Gary, I think that, uh, like I said, Steen got shocked early on. He never seemed to be able to get in this thing. I knew he was going to duck down. He tried that. But even then, there was no place for him to hide. Let's go down to Tyson Johnson for the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after 45 seconds into the first round, we have your winner by TKO, Rick Cheek. TKO is your champ, Rick Cheek, and uh, as he continues to pave his way up that championship ladder, big hug by the two gentlemen. Interesting fight. By the way, officially 45 seconds. Uh, you know, of course, we had that stoppage during the middle of the fight, but 45 seconds the length of that fight. Like you said, a flash knockdown. See me tomorrow, whooping ass. MMA experience defeats Braun today. Right, again, Rick Cheek's kickboxing skills prove that um, when you put him up against someone who doesn't have the same kind of training, whatever the game plan was for Frederick Steen today, it didn't work. All right, let's take another look at that knockout. Just tell me your thoughts, because I think you're right. The, your initial reaction was right on. Well, I'll tell you, he got overwhelmed with a flurry of blows. I don't think any one of them was super devastating. But again, the cumulative total of all those blows was enough to let Cal know that he needed to step in. Well, Frederick's down below with our X-Arm reporter, Jennifer England. So let's go down there and catch that conversation. I'm good. The uh, punches didn't affect me, but obviously he was just wailing on me. Ref, ref did a good job in calling on me. Damn. It's like 50 punches to like my two, so. He did get one up on you, but do you think the, the fight was called a bit early out there? Uh, you know what? The ref, the ref called it. I mean, he called it because, like I said, you know, he had a lot more punches than I threw. Uh, this is new sport, man. I just couldn't figure it out. I couldn't figure it out in time. It'll definitely take time, and I know yesterday you said Rick Cheek would be probably the toughest competitor. You, He proved right out there? Oh, yeah, man. I don't know what the heck he was doing, but I wasn't trying to sit there. You know, Rick's K-1 professional kickboxer. He's been international. I'm not going to sit there and try to trade punches with him all day if I don't have a defense, you know what I mean? So, uh, hey, man, Rick's the man. Hopefully I get to meet up with him again. Hopefully he loses and comes to see me and something. Well, Fred, the big cat, Steen, hopefully we'll see you again at XR. Oh, absolutely. Thank absolutely. you very much. Thank you very much. Frederick, big cat, Steen, turned into a pussy cat. Let's go down now and talk with Jennifer again, who is with Rick Savage. And here we have the winner, Mr. Rick the Savage Cheek. How are you feeling? Feeling great. Feeling great. Easy win. Well, you predicted yesterday that it would probably be a first round knockout. Right. It was a TKO. How do right. you feel about that? I wanted the knockout. Um, Frederick's got a tough head, and uh, he took some good shots. Um, I just overwhelmed him. He got nervous, covered up. Can't do that next arm. Right. Gotta fight back. I see that you're great at kicking, but you also have a lot of punches up your sleeve. I didn't tell anybody about those, but let them fear the legs, and the hands will come up. If they fear the hands, the legs will come. So. And so they did. So you did prove to be the savage today. And you'll see me tomorrow doing the same thing. Yes, we will. Thanks so much. Thanks. 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 Well, here's a clear-cut case of a guy who looked great in boot camp. And I got to tell you something, he's been considered one of the favorites. So now what we have is Rick the Savage Cheek advances to the semifinals. There you have it, folks. Thanks for coming along on this ride with us as we continue to find or look for the next X-Arm heavyweight champion. For our Davey, I'm Gary Cruz. So long, everyone.